All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 3 plus x is equal to 10. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 10 on both sides. So if I subtract 10 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, from here, to actually find all of the solutions for this equation, we have to first start by finding one solution and then use that one solution to find the rest. So how are we going to find that one solution? Well, we're going to simply have to guess. So let's start with x equals 1. When x equals 1, I get 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 minus 10, and this is equal to negative 8, which does not equal 0. This is wrong. Now let's try x equals 2. When x equals 2, I get 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 minus 10. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. A plus, 10 is, a plus 2 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. So this works. So now that we have one solution of x, we can use this solution to find out the rest of the solutions. And how are we going to do that? Well, if x equals 2, this means that x minus 2 is a factor of our original equation. Because if we plug in 2 for x minus 2, that equals 0. This means that I have to divide x minus 2 with x squared plus x minus 10. However, this also means what we can do is we can rewrite x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 as, well, what's 2 squared? 2 squared is 4, so I get plus 4x. And then because we have plus 4x, what is x? What is 4x plus what is equal to x? Well, 4x minus 3x, or we could also do 5x minus 4x. So we get 5x minus 4x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor by grouping. So we're, we can group x to the power of 3 plus 5x and negative 4x minus 10. Well, x to the power of 3 plus 5x, the greatest common factor is x. However, this won't work because x squared plus 5, that can be simplified. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is rewrite this as x to the power of 3 minus 4x plus 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. So now, if I factor by grouping, the greatest common factor from x to the power of 3 minus 4x is x. So I get x times x squared minus 4 plus from 5x minus 10, the greatest common factor is 5. So I get 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now x squared, x squared minus 4, I can rewrite that as x plus 2 times x minus 2. And I have this plus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can factor out x minus 2. So I get x minus 2 times x times x plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 0. And this simplifies to x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now this gives me two equations. I get x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I get x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Well, for x minus 2 equals 0, I can simply add 2 on both sides, so I get x equals 2. And we already remember, we already got this solution by guessing at the start. Now for x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0, I can use the quadratic formula. So in this case, I get negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2a. And this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20, which is negative 16 over 2. And you can't take the square root of negative numbers, so there's no solution for this, meaning my only solution to this equation is x equals 2.